Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we are at Cabana Bay Beach Resort here in Universal Studios on their resort property, and we are going to be doing a full resort review for you guys and kind of show you the process of checking in and some things that you definitely shouldn't miss during your visit. So if you'd like to join us, let's go. Cabana Bay opened on March 31, 2014. This resort is one of three budget-friendly hotels on property. Even though it does not offer complimentary express passes, the resort does offer other amenities, for example, early park admission with a valid park ticket. Also, it is only steps away from the water theme park of Volcano Bay. So let's head inside and check out the resort. So we are gonna head inside and check in for our stay. So to set this over at the check-in desk, we are going to get our room keys and head upstairs, maybe check out some other views of the hotel on the way. So another thing we wanted to point out to you guys is the Vacation Planning Center. If you have your park tickets or your annual passes that you need to pick up before you head to the park, you can do that here. They also have these kiosks as well to make the process a little bit easier. But of course, if you need more assistance, they usually have some uh, team members here to help you out. So here is the luggage services. If you need to drop off your luggage before your room is ready, you are free to do so. They will hold it for you as well as if you are checking out and you're wanting to go to the park and maybe come back before you need to leave, you can do the same thing, just dropping off your luggage and they will hold it for you for all day or however long you need. So we are staying in the Americana building. We stayed in this building before. And just to let you guys know, we'll show you here on the map, but there are rooms here at Cabana Bay that you do enter from the outside, kind of like a traditional hotel, motel. I did ask the lady at the front desk and she did say that those are just by request only. There's nothing on the website that differentiates those two, but people do request those more traditional type of hotel rooms that you enter from the outside. So we are at the end of Bayliner Diner here, which we'll cover for you guys in just a bit. But the Americana side is right over here. You guys can see this sign up close here in just a sec. So right next to the mural here, a little bit of a closer view. You can see that we are going straight for the Americana Bayside wing of the hotel. So one more um, tip for you guys, these hotels are very long. We have gotten stuck at the end <laughs> before and it is a very long walk. So actually when you make your reservation on Universal's website, you can actually request a room near the elevator on a certain floor. It's not guaranteed that you will get that accommodation, but it doesn't hurt to ask. So we've made it to our room. We're gonna go ahead and head inside and see what it's like. All right guys, so this is our standard two queen room. We're gonna take a quick look around. We'll come back to the bathroom in just a sec. But here is our room. We have two queen beds. Um, one of the Cabana Bay reps has told us before that since this is a more family friendly and family centered resort, that all of the rooms actually only have this option. But as you can see, they are sticking to that retro theme. Reminds me of like the 50s, you know, kind of just that retro kind of theme. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how to explain it. It kind of explains itself. But we have a, a little seating area over here as well as our television. And we do have a mini fridge. But basically traditional hotel thing. We have our coffee over here as well as an ice bucket. We did pass that on the way in. And let's check out our view here. So they actually did give us a pool view room, which is pretty awesome. We'll show you guys around the pool as well. But let's go check out the bathroom here. I think on the way we're going to pass the closet. And we do have like a little laundry bag here. It even has the Cabana Bay logo on it. So it has an ironing board. 
extra pillow and sheets, a safe, and the iron itself in a luggage rack. And last but not least, we have the bathroom. And going back to that family-friendly theme, there are no shower-only rooms here. They all have the bath-shower combo. Again, trying to be more family and kid-friendly. But over here, we have the soap that is even themed. They have the Zest soap. To me, it kind of just looks a little bit old-fashioned. As well as the soap here that they provide for you in the shower is just still perfectly themed to that retro like 50s style for the resort and guys something else we just noticed i came back to the window here and right off to the left we can actually see the volcano from here as well so right quick we did want to explain the room number system to you guys because it can get very confusing but the um, numbers are laid out and they do represent different things. So as you can see, the first number represents the building. We are in Americana, which is building number five. The second number is your floor number. We are on floor number six. Third and fourth number is your room number. So we are in the Americana, building five, floor six, in room 32. So I just wanted to explain that right quick because I completely understand how confusing that can be. And we've only been here for less than 10 minutes and Seth is already utilizing the texting service. All of the Universal Hotels have this if you have any questions or need anything for your room. Basically, anything to do with your stay. You can text them and they will text you back. Actually, most of the time it's the person who checked you in. So you get to keep that good line of communication open with the front desk. And right outside of our room here, it looks like down this hallway they're actually doing some construction. So even though this is a fairly new resort, they're already doing updates. So our next stop is the Swizzle Lounge, which is the bar in the hotel lobby. So the Swizzle Lounge here is right across from the check-in desk, so it's all pretty centralized here in the lobby. So I'm getting the Coconut Cyclone, and Seth got a beer called Avalanche, but the bartender highly recommended this drink. He said it is one of the most delicious ones on the menu. So we'll show you guys once we get our drinks and once we sit down. So if you want to view the menu while you're at home, feel free to uh, scan the QR code here. We'll bring up the full menu for the Swizzle Lounge. So the total for these two drinks, I got this cocktail, Seth got the beer, was $23 before tax and tip. So we are going to visit the gift shop here in the hotel lobby. They do have some universal merchandise that you can find in park, but also they have some pretty cool Cabana Bay merchandise. So let's go in and check it out. So like I said, most things that you can find in the park, they even have this Harry Potter stand here with some merchandise as well as they do have robes and wands. So if you weren't able to make it to the park or maybe you decided last minute to get something, you definitely have an option here at the resort. They even have some of the Harry Potter candy, not just the merchandise, but they have some treats as well. They also have Minions merchandise, as well as Dr. Seuss. So basically just a little bit of everything that you can find in Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. So here's that Cabana Bay merchandise I mentioned. I absolutely love these. They match the resort perfectly. But as you can see, they have some t-shirts as well as some ladies cut shirts here that has like a sequence design on it, as well as some coffee mugs. And they even have these little shot glasses here that run about $7.95. They even have a pin set as well as a Christmas tree ornament. Very cute. And continuing with that Cabana Bay specific merchandise, they do have this long sleeve tee as well as this looks maybe more like a men's tank top. It's probably uh, a woman could probably wear it as well. But they also have hats to match. And if you forgot your swim merchandise, they do have some swimming trunks here as well as just some other um, things that you could wear to the pool. And ladies, they didn't forget about us. They also have bikinis. They also have these Cabana Bay lanyards. You guys know that we love lanyards. You've probably seen our lanyard collection on our social media. Um, but these are so cute. If you're going to the park, this would be great to put your um, either annual pass or your room key in. So right here beside of the gift shop, they actually have a Starbucks, which most of the Universal Hotels have a Starbucks. 
it's pretty early this morning so you can see the line is pretty long but um they do just have the traditional starbucks menu um and of course first thing in the morning is probably very helpful so directly in front of the starbucks we do have a set of stairs that's going to lead us up to the bowling alley so we're going to go ahead and head up there and show you guys a little bit of the bowling alley not sure if it's open yet but we'll we'll do our best so we've made it to the bowling alley upstairs let's go see what the hours are so it looks like they don't open until one so we can't go in but we'll kind of show you guys the look here of the inside looks like just a traditional type of bowling alley and they have their shoe rental over here to the left so right now reservations are required for um, parties to be able to go and bowl um, but it does say that you have to be in person to make the reservation and it can only be made for the day of so you can't necessarily plan ahead they also have rates for cabana bay guests so if you're staying here on property you may get a little bit of a discount and galaxy bowl does sell food and drinks i believe here's a quick look at the menu and even though we can't go in they do have some of their merchandise out here such as this Galaxy Bowl hat. It looks like it comes in brown and black, as well as some t-shirts. Looks like they have four out here just for you to check out. So right to the left of Galaxy Bowl, we have the game room. I think this one is open, so we'll go ahead in. And I was wrong. <laughs> it doesn't actually open until 11, uh, but we'll take a quick peek inside here and see if we can see anything cool. So here is the game room. Looks like they have just traditional games in here. Nothing too fancy, but of course something to occupy the kids and of course those who are kids at heart like us. <laughs> so there's not much more over here besides a rec center, but I did want to show you guys a really great view from the second floor here. And this week's subscriber of the week is Marcy. Thank you Marcy for watching and commenting on our last video. If you too would like to be the subscriber of the week, check the comments to see how to enter. Looks like they also have a rec center here. You could probably rent this out for parties and events. Looks like they do have the doors covered, so I can't show you guys anything inside, but just know that it is here. And let's see if we missed anything. So the top floor that we're on has the Galaxy Bowl, the game Arama, which is the game room, the rec center, and a fitness center. So it looks like I missed that. Let's see if we can find it. All right, so I was able to find it. It is over here to the right of Galaxy Bowl. So this is the fitness center. <laughs> I'm kind of sad to say we've never even been in this general area here. So we, I didn't even know this was up here and we've stayed here multiple times. Um, but it is actually open from 6 to 10. So if you wanted to get in an early workout or a late workout anytime during the day, the fitness center is open. So we are going to visit the Bayliner Diner. We're not going to eat here. We've already had breakfast. But of course, we'll show you guys around and see what they offer. So here at the Bayliner Diner, they do have a couple of different restaurant options for you, as well as they do have some quick service options. And if you're not sure what to get for breakfast, they do have this little sign outside just showing you all the offerings that they have, which those pancakes look really good. So they do have this sizzling good. This is the first restaurant here. Looks like they have some pancake options with bacon and sausage. This next stop is Enjoy a World of Taste. It looks like this is like an omelet bar this morning. Looks like the pizza stop for breakfast is serving waffles. And this, I think, deli station is serving like croissants and bagels and things this morning. And they do have a salad bar. Of course, it's just not open for breakfast. And here's some more of these grab and go options. They even have milk and it looks like some big big bottles of soda but they do have milk seth and i have done that before where we just brought a whole box of cereal came down here got some milk and we were set for the whole week and they do have some alcoholic beverages they even have full bottles of wine down here and they also have this build your own six pack where you can basically pick anything out of the cooler there and take it back up to your room they also have a frozen yogurt bar that is so cute and they also have an icy station they have a lot of good treats in here 
And here is the free style cups that Cabana Bay offers. They only work here at Cabana Bay. We've actually never gotten one of these because usually we just fill up our park cup before we come in for the night. But I've always wanted to get one of these. They are super, super cute. I think they change the design pretty often. I don't know if I've seen this one before, but very cute nonetheless. So once you receive your food, you can head over to the seating area here. We'll go take a round and show you guys just how big the seating area really is. So they do have a condiment station here that's actually not over in the um, food prep side, but they do have all the condiments here as well as plenty of seats. Like it is super busy in here today, but I still see several open tables. And basically 24 seven, they do have these little clips on repeat. Typically they are clips from old movies or even old commercials, but they are super cute and they're on a running rotation. So right across from the diner is a set of doors that leads us outside directly to the bus stop. So I'm gonna show you guys where that is. So just came out from the diner and right over here is the bus stop. That is where the universal buses pick you up to take you to City Walk, Volcano Bay, or any of the two theme parks, Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure. And the buses do run about every 15 minutes. But if you guys can see here, they have several pickup locations. You just stand behind the bars over there. The bus comes right up and takes you to the parks. And guys, if you remember how we mentioned how uh, top notch this resort is for their theming, even out here in the parking spaces, the first one, two, three, four parking spaces are taken up by these old like classic cars. And these are always here, but seriously, this is like, this is what I'm talking about when I say that they are very, um, very, very good with their theming at this resort. Every little thing is old fashioned, but these are a great, um, place to take a photo, maybe with your family. Of course, it just asks that you please do not touch the car. And guys, you do have to pay nightly to park here. Most of these people that are parked here are probably checking in. They do have a separate lot um, back over that way if you are staying long term. So up here is the main lobby, which we showed you earlier, and the main entrance. Directly straight back here is some seating. And actually, the access to the pool. And they'll kind of direct you towards, or help direct you towards which hotel or I should say which building. So there's actually two pools here. There's one that is located in the middle of the Starlight, Thunderbird, and Castaway buildings. Those are the three buildings that have the exterior entrances for the rooms. So we're gonna go try to check out the pool a little closer here. It's supposed to open at nine. Uh, it is right after nine, so we'll see. There is the rules for the pool and we're gonna try to use our card access to get in. So all the pools are behind a gate in which you do need your room key. They have complimentary towels for each of the pools, which is nice, and then the bin to store them after the fact. So it looks like they have the atomic grill here with plenty of seating, and there's the bar which may or may not be open this early. I'm not entirely sure what time it does open, but it looks pretty cool with the theming and the aesthetic of the resort. So they definitely have plenty of tables and seats for you, and even sort of a beach area with actual sand. And they have some cabanas that you can rent and reserve, where you can sort of, you know, have it the whole day for you and your family. And they even have TVs. Which we've noticed that a lot of the resorts, and I believe all of them at Universal, have sort of this offering. So let's go over here closer to the pool. So it looks like they have a pretty cool uh, water slide here with this waterfall that you actually end up under. And even on the other side of the pool here, they've got even more cabanas. So here's a closer look of one of the exterior entrance rooms at the Castaway building. We are actually staying at the Americana, which is one of the interior entrance. And over here in this beach uh, sand area, they've actually got some ping pong tables. 
right here's the main entrance and the main lobby and we came out here and here is the pool that is outside of the Starlight, Castaway, and Thunderbird buildings. We stayed on this side in building five in the Americana right around in here on the pool side. And this side actually has a pool and a lazy river. And this picture doesn't depict it, but Volcano Bay is right here. So right beside of the Bayliner Diner is the entrance to the other pools. Something else cool that they do is a poolside movie. They advertise it as doing it nightly, and you get to hang out by the pool and they'll pop up a projector and watch Grease. Like I said earlier, the hideaway pool is in between the Continental and the Americana buildings. And they've also got a sand covered area with some lounges, which would be a nice place to chill. So right along the main path here, it leads you straight towards the pool and the hideaway bar and grill. So either option, pool that you want to hang out at, there's a nice bar and grill for you to get some snacks and drinks. So this bar and grill uh, is also not open yet. It is quite early, but it does look like a cozy place right here alongside the pool. And over here, they've got a nice little jacuzzi. It's actually on right now. This is a pretty good sized pool. So on the back end here, that is to the left of the bar and grill, they do have bathrooms and changing rooms. So here is the rules at the Lazy River. Uh, we've done this a few times and it's just a nice place to hang out. Uh, the entrance is also back here, which is to the left of the changing rooms in the back left corner, right beside the Americana. Uh, they do have some floats that you can use, and or they also have these vests that you can use. And there's actually another entrance for the Lazy River. It's also nice to note that they do have plenty of lifeguards, just to make sure everyone's safe. And if you're lucky enough, you'll actually get to swim with the duck. Hey, Mr. Doug. All right, guys, so we are all done and checked out here at Cabana Bay Beach Resort. A great state as usual. Um, so I'm sorry if that was a little bit confusing. I know we threw in some nighttime shots mixed with some daytime shots. Uh, we got in late last night, so <laughs> if that was confusing, we apologize. But we wanted to cover everything for you guys with the time that we mm -hmm. had. Um, but this is a great resort. We hope you guys get a chance to stay. Of course, be sure to hit up all the things to do. I know there's a lot of things to do here. It's such a big hotel. But my top two would probably be the Swizzle Lounge and the Lazy River. Those two are probably what I would want to do if I had just a day to kind of relax mm -hmm. here at the resort. Um, but please subscribe to the channel. Be sure you like this video, comment, and let us know if you've ever stayed here before. But until next time, we hope, hope to see you on the, on the next adventure. adventure. Bye.